new glasses. Ooh, new styles. Ooh, new show. Welcome to Toy Grind. Yes, indeed, it's the new toy review show from me, Few, which is functionally identical to Few's awesome Transformers reviews, but it's about stuff that ain't Transformers. Man, Few's awesome Transformers reviews. I am not good at names. So let's talk M -m -m Mask. Now, Mask is one of those 1980s toy line and cartoon medus from Kenner about a super squad of badass badasses battering bad baddies using cars with hidden guns and um, they could fly and whatever. Yeah, Reagan. But unlike Transformers and G.I. Joe and Thundercats and other vintage nostalgia crap that 30-something dorks love to drone on about, Mask hasn't really been around much since. We just kind of left it there in the 80s, along with Jace and the World Warriors, Ulysses 31, the UK mining industry, Trapdoor. But in the meantime, Tonka acquired Kenner, Hasbro acquired Tonka, and much more recently, Hasbro acquired a cash boner for one of them pan-franchise continuity universes everybody's doing. Continuniverse. So what that means, in short, is that Mask is back! m m m mazel -tov. And what better way to celebrate them by breaking out my favourite ever mask toy. It's the Detonator! Yes indeed, this lumpy little love bug is not only my top mask toy ever, it's also the only complete one I've got. I mean, I've got a Falcon somewhere, but who hasn't? I bought a Boris Bush King because it looks like me, and like, I might have a Hurricane somewhere, but I could never possibly top Caleb's video on it, which you should totally watch, by the way. So this is the MESK Detonator, and it's a fabulously overpowered monster Volkswagen, because apparently everything in the 80s had to have one of those. But this thing's definitely ratcheted up the fabulosity to DEFCON 5, or DEFCON 1, whichever's scariest. I mean, check out this beastly beetle blob. It's just such a solidly snuggly little power hog. Like, it's all chunky and round and adorable, but also totally ready to rock, with the mean spoiler and the hefty rear wheels giving it sort of a forward incline. Colours totally magnify the effect with, like, this magenta -y hot pink and black accents and the green zombie core smash patch. Like, it strikes a perfect sweet spot between totally badass and quite amazingly gay. But yeah, for me, this thing just encapsulates a certain late 80s attitude that's brash and repentless and doesn't care what you think, mom. It's just a sweet little Mad Max Warboy mobile with the harsh squishy tyres, gleaming rims and hardcore mohawk inlet all shiny and chrome. What a toy! What a lovely toy! So before we get too deep into the secrets within, let's peer through the cheeky sunroof hatch and check out the accompanying obligatory action figure. Il s'appelle Jacques Lefleur. Bonjour, bonjour. Get this fleshy fool with his featureless meat face and frankly appalling outfit. Hot pink jeggings, cheeky white sneaks, and horrendous hipstery eagle sweater. Masks of fashion nightmare and all with a genuinely eerie Horus hawk face. Lopsided back and inflamed turkey chin giblets. Ooh, a bird looking guy. My name's Jacques. Yeah, that's a good look for you, bro. How dare you say that to me? I've always felt a little uneasy with mask mans, because, like, they're a lot smaller than a G.I. Joe or a Star Wars guy, and I get it, but it's just weird, you know? Plus, the plastic on this guy just feels horrible. It's all bendy and sticky and kind of sweaty. Also, because the detonator requires a little extra manpower, Jacques tags along with his creepy see-through doppelganger. I mean, look at this freak, all translucent and gruesome. Like, I get that there needed to be two dudes, but did it have to feel this wrong? But it turns out this is Jacques' computer image, so rather than the horrifying, melty, skinless flesh pet it appears to be, it's actually just his second life avatar. Because you see, the detonatorator comes from a slightly later mask wave called the Split Seconds, which rather than simply busting out a secret base mode or whatever, instead split into two different things. So check it out, he's just pushing the back door handles here and the poor bug drops its weirdly insectoid guts out the bottom. And one cheeky smush up later, we've got ourselves an attack bike. I kind of I love this thing, it's all business. It's just four monstrous thunder wheels, two puny guns, and a weird sort of praying mantis ass body for old Mr. Blobby to awkwardly perch on. I mean, is it perfect? No. It's impractical and it's stupid, but god damn it, it's fun! It's just a stupid sci fi quad chopper with some of the heaviest wheels and legitimately some of the lushest rolling action I think I've ever seen. Gorgeous, gorgeous nonsense. Meanwhile, the main Beetle Bob separates off and I'm already sold, because my inner six year old tells me this is just a flying space hover Volkswagen. And trust me, that guy knows toys. So let's crack the shell and find the nuts inside. Yes, indeed, check out this hovercrafty beetle bowl. It's an admirable battle platform mode, I suppose. Gotta love how the inner wheel arches form these awesome hover turbine thingies, and the beetly exterior is just so ballsy. And there's our Jacques strapped awkwardly into the murder throne and totally unable to do anything. But it's good enough. Look, he's driving, way! So there he sits and there he sw- Oh, God. So there he he sits and there he swivels and there he commands these frankly brutal launches. <laughs> 
and together with his jelly spectre he'll ride off into all manner of anti-venom adventures. So many activities. Did I mention the baddies in Mask are called Venom? Vicious evil network of mayhem. And the mayhem doesn't even just mean mayhem, it means Miles Mayhem, which is the actual name of the baddie. God, suddenly I don't feel so bad about Fuse Awesome Transformers reviews. And that's why we love Mask. It's not the smartest, not the coolest, not the most enduring of the gadgets and gunfire 80s cartoons, but it's pretty goddamn spectacular nonetheless. And for me, nothing says it better than the detonator. Big thanks this time to Ozzy on Twitter for helping me get hold of this crazy nonsense. And I'll catch you next time for more Toy Grind. M -m 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 mad for it. So let's crack the shell and find the nuts inside. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!